Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most, Ghost. Got our SummerSlam preview and predictions today. Take some time and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Got our Kurt Angle DVD uh, video up. Just picked that up last night. SummerSlam is already tomorrow night, guys. So, um, I believe we have 13 matches announced as well. Um, not too sure what exactly will be on the pre-show, but, you know, let's get into it, guys. 13 matches, a match that was just announced. Uh, I believe they just announced it like on the uh, on uh, social media or something like that. But I believe it's the Miz and uh, Axel and Bo Dallas against Jason Jordan and the Hardy Boys. This show is going to be like six hours. Well, the pre-show will be two hours and the main card will, I think, be four hours. So... As, as usual, I'm going to skip out on the pre-show and, you know, I'll catch up on that later on. Four hours is long enough and, you know, I've, that's all I got to say about that. So let's, you know, the Miztourage, I don't really see the, them going over here. I'm going to pick the Hardy Boys and uh, Jason Jordan to get the win there. But let's get into the matches that were, you know, previously announced. Um, with the new cruiserweight champion, Akira Tozawa, I would be very surprised if he dropped the belt back just like five days later. You know, it it can be done, but I'm going to go with Tozawa for the win. Um, so we got like... Every championship on the line here. I don't see it being, you know, another WrestleMania where every title changes. But, you know, I do see several ch titles changing hands. Let's get into the tag titles. SmackDown. New Day defends the championships against the Usos. I'm going to pick New Day here. Sheamus and Cesaro defending against Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Now, my pick originally was going to be Ambrose and Rollins. Something tells me otherwise. I do think they'll win the belts, but I think they're going to do it on Monday Night Raw. I don't think... Uh, I think Sheamus and Cesaro will hold on to it till the next night where, uh, you know, some something will happen there. So they're they're gonna be in town for four straight nights. We got the demon Finn Balor making his return. Um, you know, I I love the demon Finn Balor much more than the basic Finn Balor. Um, he's taking on Bray Wyatt after Monday Night Raw's where Bray Wyatt defeated Balor. And then he dumped a bucket of blood all over him. <laughs> um, you know, it's going to hard be hard to bet against uh, Balor here. Balor's my pick. We got the Big Show taking on Big Cass with Enzo Amore suspended high above the ring in a shark cage. Um, you know, I'm not a fan of these matches, um, you know. Once in a while is okay. This is already, I think, the third third one in less than a year. Um, you know, big cast for the win. Enzo is going to probably cost Big Show the match. You know, Enzo isn't going to escape the cage. Let's just put it that way. But, you know, Enzo's um, backstage heat, um, it, it sucks. We got John Cena. Taking on Baron Corbin. You know, Baron Corbin's failed cash-in is 
It's just a shame. These guys both failed cash in. Why is nobody putting Cena in the uh, failed cash in list? Yes, he won his match, but he failed to cash it in successfully capturing the championship. Baron Corbin wins here. Randy Orton versus Rusev. Uh, I feel so bad for Rusev. He he's definitely become one of my uh, more underappreciated guys to look forward to. Uh, you know, back in 2014, 2015, he was definitely on the rise. Randy Orton for the win there with an RKO out of nowhere. The U.S. Championship match. Kevin Owens challenging AJ Styles. Shane McMahon, the special referee. If the rumors are correct, it's going to be uh, Owens and McMahon at uh, Hell in a Cell or Survivor Series. Um, Styles retains after uh, McMahon's, you know, shenanigans. Um, the next four matches here are all for the top titles in uh, Raw and SmackDown. Let's get into the women's championships first. Naomi versus Natalia. I I'm going to predict that Natalia wins here, winning the championship. I don't know if uh, Carmella will um, cash in successfully here, but I do see Carmella coming out, costing Naomi the title as well. Alexa Bliss for Sasha Banks. I do want to see Sasha Banks take the title here, becoming the four-time Raw champion. Um, I do like Bliss as champion, but I think this is uh, time to take the belt off her and you know move things forward here. Have Sasha Banks move forward. Then when Bailey comes back, she can say, like, you took my spot, you took my title, blah, blah, blah. Um, so both both women's titles should change hands here, in my opinion. Jinder Mahal versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. This is a tough one to predict. You know, many people want to see the belt off Mahal. Many people want to see Shinsuke, you know, get that big, big win here. As much as I want to see, I don't think it's going to happen. My pr my prediction will be Mahal retains until maybe... What's the next pay-per-view? I'm not even sure. Maybe they go to Hell in a Cell. Uh, I don't know. Backlash, Clash of Champions. Uh, no, they already had Backlash earlier this year. Might be Clash of Champions or No Mercy. Um, and the main event for the WWE Universal Championship. Brock Lesnar defending the title in a fatal four-way match against Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, and Samoa Joe. Um, this match can go... You know, several different ways. I do think Brock will eventually retain the title after, you know, 25, 30 minutes of action. But this is definitely a match to look forward to. I'm not big on betting odds and things like that. I I, I do think it's pretty, pretty ridiculous at times that uh, people are betting on wrestling. I, I It's actually pretty cool to, to see that. But... Brock Lesnar definitely is going to retain here. I wouldn't mind if they took the belt off him because he's not on TV much anyways. Because, let's face it, the next time he's going to be around is maybe three months later at Survivor Series. So, would I mind if they took it off him? No, but I don't see it happening right now. Um, you know, I, I would actually like to see, you know, Braun Strowman get the title here or Samoa Joe. Let me know your predictions, guys. Like WrestleMania, SummerSlam is going to be a loaded pack show here. It's it's weird that uh, Sami Zayn isn't on the show. No uh, Dolph Ziggler. 
They added the Hardy Boys last minute. No IC title being defended. They obviously want to keep that belt on the Miz for whatever reason. So, let me know your thoughts, guys. Who's winning? Who's who's going to walk out with the championship? Comment down below, guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace.